Hello and welcome to this video for new features on MagiCAD 2.15.11 for Revit. This is the new feature regarding the updated and improved switchboard schematic function. Now we have the ability to uh, allow, enable the user to create their circuits in a schematic format in the initial stage of the project as is frequently uh, done in, in practice on projects and then the user can then, uh, once they have uh, actual defined circuits in the model, they can then import the schematic information into those circuits at a later stage, uh, thus completing the circuiting process. Uh, so this this method uh, and this staging of, of uh, information input into Revit uh, using MagiCAD schematics and then modeling uh, is a lot more prevalent um, uh, for electrical engineers uh, using the Revit uh, process. So we're going to look at how that is completed. Within MagiCAD Electrical uh, we have the circuit properties tab as uh, as normal but now within this function you'll see that we now have this show panels from schematic and in here we have panel board 2 and you can see that these circuits have just been created uh, just purely schematically at the moment we can then create a new circuit if you wish, set some properties for this circuit so we can keep the wire type, insulation code, lighting, description, however we want to label this up, uh, put some ratings on here, clearly these aren't the right figures, they're just for demonstration purposes, just for the principle, select a symbol, press OK and then just press OK and you'll see now that this circuit appears on the schematic. This is not yet in the model, it's only on the schematic which is what we want and then at such a time that the user wishes to import the information of the circuits from the schematics into the live Revit model itself you can see here that we have some circuits already set up so for instance this power circuit here we can see that these sockets are circuited to this uh, panel board too and if you go back into circuit properties we are now able to view the circuits from both the schematic there and from the project here and now if we go to this manage links tab that we have in this uh, dialog box you will see there's the project circuits and here's the schematic circuit so all it is is a case of finding the circuit you wish to designate as with a skim as the uh, the circuit from the schematic and inherit the properties of that and click link and now you'll see that this circuit is now updated with the correct information from the schematic so you could very quickly just repeat that process for all the circuits and at that point you'll then have a complete project uh, full of all the circuiting information that's uh, been inherited from the schematic. So just to reiterate this is designed so that the designer itself himself can then produce the circuits at an early stage in the schematic and then effectively import that information into actual circuits in the Revit project at a later time as is more common as a practice um, and a method of working. 